This is 3FM. I think I could I think I could be I could be good for the island, but it's not about me. I'm only the tiny part. The most important thing this island uh, has to focus on is everybody else that stands. That's the key. It's the team that will come together. I think I could be part of that team, but it, I can do nothing on my own. Neither can anybody else. I'm not saying you have to be a party, but you have to be of a like-minded ilk, so to speak, that you have the island man first. That's what's lacked, I think. And that's why things, nothing really ever gets over the line because it's, it is about consensus. The team has to want to do it. There's no point in just the individual and the point scoring that normally goes on. That just that just gives us the status quo that we've become used to. That we've become used to, the punch and Judy show, if you like. You know, we can do better than that. Planning needs a total overhaul. We have to be more proactive in encouraging development, whether it's a porch, conservatory, a swimming pool, a mansion. We have to look on things in a positive light because I don't think any other industry puts more back in for your pound spent, comes back into the economy again. You, the, you're not concreting over the Isle of Man, but you have to be proactive if that means more resources in that department. That is the key that will pay for the roads, the, all the other services you've got. There is no, I, I work all around the Isle of Man. There is no plantation where you can pick 50 pound notes off the tree to give to the Board of Education, the hospitals, that, that doesn't exist. You know, it, it has to come from enterprise. I think the government needs to show that, put confidence back into the into the, the island that we will bring some schemes to fruition. We will we will we will provide the seedbed to encourage the private sector to come along and feel confident to invest in the island. Yeah, at the moment, it's pavements with weeds growing out of them. It's just it's cosmetic. You know, it, it's we have to be aware of. It, of of our perception you know and that's they've lacked that they've just got entrenched with admin admin day to day well there's a role for admin but we've just got bogged down in the admin instead of standing back right this needs to be done and then everybody has, there's, there's a there's an air of confidence is restored i think it's become such a everybody on the isle of man now has an opinion on the promenade the horse trams on the left the right, the middle, no horse trams, whatever. At the moment, I'm leaning towards, let's flip it round. If I went to the plowing department today and said, I've got an idea. There's a busy stretch of road, it's about two miles long, it's really busy, especially in the morning, especially at night, there's lots of cars parked there, and I've got an idea for tourism to put a tram track through the middle, uh, and I'd, I'd like to pull up with a horse. Where would that one go? If you forget the history, where would that go today? Not a lot, nowhere would it. It is, it is first and foremost a primary road now and the road surface needs to be dealt with. Deal with the roads, forget the, the, the granite and the fancy footwear and everything, that's, not, that's a side issue. Focus on the road. As to where the tram track goes, whether it should even go there, why does it have to be now in, Ram in, in Douglas? Why not Ramsey Promenade? Or, or along the Murick there. You've got the sea on one side, you've got the Murick Park on the other. People can explore the island and come across the horse trams. Historically, they weren't from there, but why? we have to move on. Again, we'd never do that. Oh, this is how it is, this is how it is. Prop the corpse up, let it hemorrhage money. Can we go on like that? Coastal ocean has been talked about for years and years. And collectively, Douglas MHKs, South MHKs, who are surrounded by rock, it's not going to be their priority. But again, collectively, if you look as the Isle of Man and take the Isle of Man as a whole, can we let a scenic coastline with some of the best agricultural land there is, I'm biased because I own land on it, it's not really going to affect me in my lifetime, but when that land is slowly eroding, that never comes back. But it can be solved, it can be fixed. If you go to Glen Willen, you can see there's two outcrops of rock armour. All the erosion has come each side of it. Rock armour works. You just need more of it. It could be done in a rolling programme. This year we go from Glen Willen to Belira. Next year we go from Belira to Orisdale. Orisdale to Belira. A rolling programme that we can say, well, 
we do live on a, a small island, but it's secure. If you're prepared to, to you know, but again, if you're just going to sit to your own little personal hobby horses, it will never get done. Collectively, we can do it. Yeah. More music for the Isle of Man. 3FM.